welcome to a quick video today. This is a little different from what I usually do because you obviously know that most of the time I'll do videos on gaming and such and this is technically involved in the world of gaming. Um, but instead it's going over a bundle called the Humble Bundle. You may have heard of them before because they usually each year, I think around the same time, um, they'll usually choose game company and uh, basically do out all this charity work and they basically get the game company to partner up with them to give out their games for free and most of the time it will usually be with indie developers because they're obviously more inclined to say oh yes um, that would be great because it will give more coverage to our game and they don't really lose much of a profit whereas it's actually quite weird for a game company like THQ um, to actually do something like this because they're obviously a pretty big games company and the amount of like the net worth of these games you get is I think what they say down here is about a hundred and ninety dollars so by default you get six games providing you spend about five dollars sixty eight as you can see down there you unlock Saints Row the Third and that's obviously probably the biggest um, kind of buy I suppose from that perspective so effectively you can get Saints Row the Third for about four pounds, probably at slightly less, I think. Um, I already have it, so I didn't really need to pay that much money. So in fact, if you're not too bored about Saints Row the Third, the minimum you have to pay is one dollar. That is the equivalent to about sixty pence, and that to me, for getting games such as Dark Siders, Red Faction, Metro 2033. Company of Heroes, I wasn't actually sure what that was until I looked at it, but it's actually a pretty decent strategy game. It was a very good strategy game during its time. I'm sorry if I keep on sniffling, but I've got I've got a cold back. I've literally, I suppose it hasn't actually been that long since I got rid of my past cold. So yeah, if I sound a bit um, bunged up, it's because of that. Um, so I do apologise if it sounds disgusting, because I know it's not a particularly nice thing to listen to. Um, all I can say is I do recommend you get this bundle because if you don't get it, you're missing out. And at the end of the day, the one dollar or however much you donate goes towards first of all the publisher. Some of well, you can actually choose where it goes. So you can decide whether it goes all to charity, some of, all of it goes to the publisher, or you split it out fifty-fifty. So. I think I'll be able to show you an example of this. I've already purchased it, but if I go to purchase, you'll see you go to this other page here, and you've got this very nice real-time updating tool. And I think this is actually real-time. This is no JavaScript magic where it like update on average every so often. It's actually a live preview of money coming in. So you'll see that they're actually not too far off three million dollars. So considering this has another 11 days to go. Um, it's pretty likely that they're going to get way past three million dollars. So basically, what, the reason I'm doing this video is to kind of ensure that that happens because I know it sounds a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it would definitely help. Um, it's it's good for charity as well. Effectively, you're playing games for charity. Um, but yeah, so I actually paid only two dollars, which okay. I kind of felt that even though two dollars is pretty low, I felt well. I don't technically, uh, I mean I'm not technically an adult am I, so for like two dollars for me is kind of, yeah, just a little bit of pocket change I can put in, um, but you can go from anything from like all these set amounts or you can do a custom amount, so if I want, if I really wanted to do I could say, oh yeah, let's put ten thousand dollars in, and um, actually last time it came up saying, oh this will put you on the biggest donation list but obviously it hasn't this time um, but anyway yeah you can type in any amount you want starting from one dollar um, but remember you've got to add at least some yeah five dollars sixty eight to get the Saints Row game book so as you had that it wasn't really a problem now um, say for example get five dollars here you can then change it does all of it go to THQ does all of it go to charity and then you can like bundle it down to which one you want it to go to the most so I could say I want it all to go to Charles Play or to go to American Red Cross I personally put most of mine towards American Red Cross because 
Um, I think they're the charity behind aiding the people affected by the hurricane, so that's also a good thing. And you can also just add a tip which goes to the towards the actual humble company or organisation. Um, now this is where it starts to get a bit more complex for us um, younger people, because obviously many of us, it isn't actually that easy to pay with PayPal, um, because obviously you have to be 18 to have PayPal. Again, Amazon, it's not too bad to pay in, but then, unless you've actually got an Amazon account um, with money in, all set up, then obviously you've got to set up that up. Um, but I just use the Google Checkout, and it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not going to click on it, just in case it gives away my details or something. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, I paid with Google Checkout, because all you had to do was put in your details, and basically save it. I did have like a first-time error, though, surprisingly, so... Um, yeah, maybe that when you first type in your details, it will like say, oh, sorry, I didn't recognise that. But if you just do it again, um, it should work pretty well. Because see, top contributors, um, Wargaming Net has actually given quite considerable donation there. They're the people who made World of Tanks. And there's quite a few other people in the gaming industry, which is very nice. So they've actually almost sold, they've sold just over half a million um, bundle so yes I would definitely recommend you get this because I think for one dollar I mean although I think I would recommend that you spend more than one dollar because I think it's almost it's always being a bit cheeky just to think oh yes yeah, just give one dollar because I mean these games are obviously worth a lot more than 60 pence um, and again it is for charity but I suppose everything goes like if it's for charity I suppose you can give as much or as little as you like depending on how much money you're willing to spend so yeah thanks for watching this video guys i hope it gave you an insight into the humble bundle because i wanted to kind of explain it to you guys and to get it more kind of a bit more um support behind it i know i've got a tiny i'm a tiny drop in the ocean compared to all the other bigger youtubes out there youtubers sorry um so i kind of thought well i'll try and get my subscribers on top of it and see if they'll they'll be willing to buy this bundle because again most of these games are in fact very very good thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time